as, as a country which has moved 22 years into democracy, we must begin to open the floodgates to allow ourselves to become accustomed to the question of accommodating each other. That's also where the question of the historical names of campus come from. I mean, for example, there's a law library at the University of Victoria. People call it law library, but it's a whole art of library. And you have other buildings like the AE Toy building, the Water Hall. And we're saying that give us the historical context of why those buildings are called those things. But also give us spaces in the university where I look at a black heart and I as a black African feel that my history is also being encompassed within this institution. Look, we can never be happy as an organization when our students are remanded into custody. But as an organization also, we have pledged ourselves to be supportive of these students who are currently going through this court process. We hope that this court process will not traumatize them such that they're not able to perform uh, properly academically. Because we must also look at the context where the African child has many struggles to go through on campus. And we feel that even the fact that all students who are arrested are generally black African is another form of the institution stamping its authority to say that black child, you have to struggle and struggle to get what you need. Uh, look, a way forward for us as an organization right now, not only as SASCO but the collective of organizations, is to say that, look, students, let's sit down, let us map a way forward, which entails the holistic transformation of the University of Pretoria. I think that's what we're looking for currently. It's not just a, a narrow question of only the language policy, but we're saying that we want to create a cultural space at the University of Pretoria that welcomes all, regardless of their race, regardless of their creed, regardless of their ethnic group.